Hey everybody, Grimer here coming at you once again from Pixelmon Revolution and check it out, I'm rocking my old skin. I, I, I got rid of the, the Rocket Inc. Uh, uniform for now. I mean, I was, I was just kind of getting too used to it. I, I kind of missed my old self. So now I feel free. I feel completely free. Oh, I've fallen off the edge. Oh geez, oh man, F5, I gotta save this. Okay, I'm good. Everyone, everyone, calm down, calm down, it's okay. Anyway, <laughs> I'm here in ultra space right now uh, because I think it's here if I'm not mistaken, let me uh, let me press buttons. Uh, I think it's here that I have, yes, a fiery shrine marked. I have a couple of them, actually. I got a bunch of stuff. Oh, I actually have this, too. Ooh, I should have brought these. Ooh, I, def I definitely didn't. <laughs> okay, so um, it's here where I have a fiery shrine marked. And I don't believe I have one marked anywhere else, um, like in the overworld. So I had to come here to find this one. Now, where where is this one? Aha, there it is right there. Okay, so it's southeast of here. Uh, let me uh, let me go back into this and uh, let's uh, let's track myself here. So it's southeast. Good. Quick check because I am in the uh, jungle M biome here. Uh, okay, so nothing's gonna spawn right now. It's nighttime. I think that's only in the morning that he can sp uh, spawn. I'm thinking about another uh, Mew just in case I need another Mew to get my hands on Mew too. Uh, I don't really know. Let's uh, let's hop on the uh, first gen flight here and I gotta head south uh, east and let's start try to go all the way out to the. Um, all the way up to the fiery shrine. There it is. Yeah, I see it up ahead of me. Um, it is how far away? Two and a half kilometers away. Let's make our way out to the fiery shrine here, because I do have that orb of fiery souls saved up. Oh, I'm about to crash into stuff. Uh, <laughs> orb of fiery souls saved up that I can absolutely use here to catch uh, mold trace. Now, my team is relatively healed. I think. Um, let me make sure I pay attention to my Y value here too. Oh, there's um, I'm flying by uh, shulkers and stuff. Um, my team is relatively healed. I should be able to put up a good fight against him. And um, I got I got a Master Ball in my inventory here. I could actually catch this thing if I get in a pinch. So why not go out there and try to do that? And there it is right there, bam. Here's the Fiery Shrine. Made it, awesome. Okay, so I wasn't I wasn't hallucinating when I, I first marked this because I have done some uh, quite a bit of exploring out here in this, uh, in this Ultra Space place. Now I could actually, you know what, I think, um, uh, buttons buttons. I think I could actually go ahead and do one of these numbers and grab one of these safety goggles and put them on my forehead So that uh, actually allowed me to see a little bit better in here uh, Now where is my orb of fiery souls? I think that's um, in my end chest Yes, it is right there orb of fiery souls. I knew I had one around here All right now I do have let me go ahead and switch this up so I can put false swipe in the first spot So I can start doing as much damage to him Hopefully not kill him as possible I do have the Master Ball. I don't know if he knows any self-damaging moves, but we're about to find out. Whew. Right here, fighting legendaries, people. Fight, wait, it looks like it's on the ground. <laughs> fighting legendaries, people. This is gonna be fun. Bam, Mold Trace. Awesome, all right. So let's go ahead and uh, first things first, let's go ahead and just chuck a quick ball. Maybe I'll get lucky. Nope, did not get lucky. <laughs> All right, so it's gonna be a fight now. I'm trapped in a fiery vortex. I think what I'm gonna do is use Endeavor to bring him down to the same level where I'm at. Bam, that was actually a pretty good move. I might actually try to use that again. Mm -hmm. He could actually kill me here pretty soon. So let's try it again. Yes, get down to where I'm at, Moltres. Good, good, good. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Now, um, uh, hmm. Let's do it again, because if he kills me, it's not going to matter. But if he uses some kind of, like, agility move or something like that, then I'll put him down to six hit points, which is awesome. Uh, although, actually, you know what? False Swipe might do better. Nope, never mind. He killed me. <laughs> okay, so I got him down to, you know, just a few hit points, and that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and bring Z-Quill in here, who has a horrible type disadvantage here. And let's start putting him to sleep. And then we are going to just start chucking the Ultra Balls and then switching over the Timer Balls. You know the routine. And after a while, if I get a little uncomfortable with how many moves have gone by where I'm worried about him going to be struggling pretty soon. Then I'm going to switch to the Master Balls. So let's start chucking poke the, uh, the Ultra Balls. There it is. Moltres has been captured. Extra crispy chicken. Awesome. Sweet. Let's take a look at this thing. Bam. Here it is. Moltres. All right, so that's one of the legendary birds. What's one of the uh, legendary bird trio? 
Uh, the other one is Zapdos, which I actually have. And then the, fr uh, the final one would be Articuno, which is what I'm currently missing. However, let's go ahead and drop this in here. Yeah, here's Zapdos right here. Check this out. Bam. All right, so the other one I'm missing is the Ice Bird, which is Articuno. And, uh, and that one, however, if you look in my interest, is right here, Orb of Frozen Souls. You know what? Why don't we go get that one, too? All right, thank you very much, Fiery Shrine. You've been an absolute doll. I gotta go find your frozen brother. I think he's in the, uh, I think he's in the overworld. And there's an absolutely quick way to get back to the overworld. Bam. Just, okay, I found a mine shaft. <laughs> Wonder if I can find a chest. I did find a chest. What do we got? Nothing. Nothing good. Good to know. Slap the torch there so I don't, don't check the one again. Is this a, is this a temple? Is this a dungeon? Oh yeah, it is. I hear I hear zombies. I'm guessing they're gonna be. Oh, they're right there. I just walked right through. How did he not hit me? Oh, he hit me that time. Let me uh, let me get my better helmet on now. Let's get down here and light this up. There's totally a zombie spawner right here. What do we got in here? Ah, lure one. Pretty crap. Not gonna lie. Not really liking that at all. Does this lead to the surface? Can I get out this way? Oh, I think it does. But it. Oh no. What? Somebody's been here. I'm so confused. <laughs> All right, let me get out of here. Okay, I said I was gonna get out of here, but then I just ended up diving deeper into this thing. I think there's another zombie spawner here. There might be a lot of zombie spawners here. Ah! Um, if that's the case, uh, there is a five pack zombie spawner on the server already, but I don't own it. <laughs> If this place is unclaimed, I could make one here. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing quite a few zombie spawners here. So that's one. How many, how many are there? There's two, three. I, I think there's like three or four here, actually. It's kind of bonkers. I'm counting what I think are four of them, possibly. I have to clear out this area and actually get eyes on the spawner to figure out if that's the case. But that would be pretty awesome to turn into a farm. I'm going to have to... It's right underneath my village build, so I guess I could just dig down and find it. Uh, but there's there's a lot. This might actually be better than the five pack zombie spawner. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to do some work here, probably off camera, and uh, and I'll get to work on that. But for today, I, I just really want to get out of here. <laughs> I just want to get out of here. All right, so I'll, I'm gonna dig up actually and try to mark a spot on the surface for me to dig back down. It's literally right next to my building supplies. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, so now I need to try to find a ice, uh, a frozen shrine. I gotta, I, I have to know where one of these things are. Aha! Frozen shrine, three kilometers away. Let's see, I have no idea which direction it is, but I think it's that, that's permafrost. I'll, I'll find it. That way, I kind of see it through there. It's hard when you have all these waypoints, and I've turned them off before, but they just kind of automatically turn back on, so I don't really know how to stop them from turning on every single time. All right, let's go see if we can't catch Articuno uh, without using a Master Ball also. And there be the shrine. I remember this is actually out here where we did the Abra Caving, or the Abra Caving. So yeah, that's why we uh, even know this exists. Oh, there's actually a loot on top of that ice chunk. I just saw it. Let's see if we can't go grab that. I like free stuff. Eh, eh, wait, let me get my, let me get my, uh, not that guy, that's the wrong guy. Let me get this guy out. Now, I don't actually, I think I did, I, yeah, okay, I did heal these guys up before, since the last fight, that would've been very embarrassing. I got a Raspberry, okay, that's our Rast, Raspberry? Good, I'll take it, I'll take free stuff any day. Now, let's go ahead and make some room in my inventory here, just because I got some clogs, so I got a buried treasure map, how interesting is that? Um, I don't have the best of luck with buried treasures, but I'll, I'll go dig that up one day. Um, now here is the frozen shrine, so let's go ahead and whip out the end chest. Now, the fun thing about the frozen orb, uh, or this orb of frozen souls, is that you, ooh, that's a fortune pick, let's get that, yeah, there you go, so that's better, uh, is that you, uh, you need to get a frozen, uh, an ice stone for it, and boy, is that a pain to do. So this one is very difficult to get, but I got it here, I do have the master ball, it's tempting just to throw it right away, but let's go ahead and try to catch Articuno. Alright, false swipe, don't let me down. Let's go ahead and do Endeavor right away. Knock him down to whatever I'm at. Okay, so he's, he's pretty high up there. All right, let's go ahead and false swipe. All right, this could, this might take a little bit to knock him down. Ice shard, okay. Yeah, this is gonna take a little bit for me to wear him down. Ooh, 
that actually hurt really bad. Oh, hopefully he doesn't hit me again, because otherwise I'm not going to have him very low. Okay, he didn't. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Endeavor, here, welcome to my world, Articuno. I got him down to the red. That's pretty good. All right, he's down to what looks like one hit point. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let him knock out false swipe. I'm just going to start chuck. I forgot to chuck a quick ball. I'm going to start chucking uh, 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 one of them, ultra balls for right now. And then I'll switch out with my Breloom, Z-Quill. And then I'll try to put him to sleep and catch him that way. Because I'm worried about switching out with my Breloom if he puts him in. Oh, I caught him. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> if, he, if he hits him with a nice attack, that could really hurt him, although I would be 30 levels higher. It doesn't matter. Caught him. Frozen chicken dinner. Done. Did it. That's the end of the legendary bird trio right there. Completely captured. 100% done. Didn't even have to put that one to sleep. That was the easiest one of them all. Holy cow. Look at these guys. And you can fly on them, too. Now, I believe these are first... Yeah, these are first-gen flyers, so if you take off them, they're like the... This looks weird. <laughs> I'm, like, behind it. No... Yeah, that's weird. I don't like that. Uh, <laughs> all right, so I did manage to catch an Articuno. That, that's all of them. Okay, so that's all the birds. Like, I like it. I like it a lot. Let's go ahead and stash this one um, in the Legendaries box, which I believe now is a full. Let's go ahead and put these right next to each other. Uh, I did go ahead and catch another Cosmog, by the way. Uh, I caught him on a Master Ball again, so he wouldn't teleport away, so I actually had to use two Master Balls. So apparently these guys evolve into two different things, so I'll work on evolving those things later. That, to me, does not scream legendary. That screams just a standard Pokemon, but whatever. They call him a legendary? Fine, we'll call him a legendary. All right, so that's... Oh, there's a frozen shrine right over there, too. <laughs> there's a couple of them around here. That That's it for the legendary birds. Now, what are we going to do for the rest of the episode? That's a good question, Tim, or Ellie, or whoever is out there <laughs> watching this. That's an excellent question, but what I want to do now we have a we have a good source of food on here. We got a chicken cooker right at the right at the start, right at the at the at spawn, you know, and that's good. Basically, it's all the food you'll ever need. However, I want to do something else. I want to make a pig farm. I know that's kind of not really uh, Pixelmon, but it's because the spawners a lot of the spawners spawn pigs only, and I found a doozy of one to the north that I want to turn into a pig farm. It's the only place to get tallow to make candles also. So let's head up there so that I can go scope out and see what we're dealing with. All right, so here's a tunnel leading down to kind of the area where I found this uh, these pig spawners. So some of the spawn, in case you guys are wondering, okay, so in Pixelmon, most dungeons, in fact, all dungeons would spawn as uh, pig spawners uh, instead of actual zombie spawners. We kind of tried to fix that so that wasn't the case we screwed something up some of them spawn as spawn uh, as pig spawners some of them spawn as zombies and, and skeletons and spider spawners like they're supposed to but we screwed it up a little bit and that's okay we ended up just kind of saying screw it let's ro roll with it let me quick go over here and beat up on the sand true because um, they can drop the ice shards oh he did not though just wanted to see if I could get one off him. remember how I said the ice shards are actually really difficult to get that's how you get them you have to beat those guys up and they occasionally drop like are the ice stones are really tough to get icy ice just the ice stones yes uh, those are the ones that drop it, and they sometimes don't drop them, as you saw there. Anyway, this leads down here, but this place is pig farm that I'm going to be turning it into a pig farm, actually, to get all the pork and all the, um, all the tallow that you would ever want. Um, this place I have dubbed with the, uh, with the icon, or with the, uh, with the, uh, beacon? Is that what it's called? Waypoint. Holy cow. Uh, <laughs> the waypoint. I've called this place Silence of the Hams, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because that's basically what we're going to be doing. Now, I can't see a thing down here. It's too dark. Um, but I'm thinking this will lead me down to where I want to be. Yeah, right here. Okay. So we have one pig spawner right here, which is spawning pigs. That's what it's supposed to do, right? There's one right over there, too. So that's two of them. And is that it? Is there just two? I mean, if there's two, that's plenty. There's a mine shaft here, too. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. This is... A, I think when I found this place originally, there was actually... A uh, clear and a title bell in it. So I found both the things I need to get Ho -Oh and Lugia here out of this, which was pretty awesome. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to turn these two spawners into a pig farm. That way we can get cooked pork chops and tallow, and that's that's kind of my goal. Now, how am I going to do that? Okay, so I was thinking about using uh, what are they called? The uh, the pads? The uh, no, not the pads. Uh, plates, maybe they're called. They're like launch these things right here, the movement plates. I was thinking about using these things to like throw them down a hole, <laughs> which sounds cool, 
The problem is, is that they don't spawn on them. So they literally would stand there and they'd have to wander onto them and it might not be very effective. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to lure them to their death. Mwahaha. <laughs> now the elevation here isn't very high. Um, sure is a lot of pigs though. Um, let's see, the elevation here uh, is at Y23, which is not actually tall enough to kill them. Although I wonder if I, because if I raise this land up, around the spawner. I think they'll still spawn on it. In fact, I can probably test that. Let's go ahead and knock this out. Keep the grass. Thank you very much. I'm going to have to kill some of you guys just to get you out of the way because honestly, you're being a little bit of a pain. Uh, let's go ahead and knock this one out as well. And then let's put that up higher and see. Yeah, yeah. See like that. They spawn on it still. So now that would be 24 if it reaches all the way to the bottom. Oh, this would be better if it was just a little bit taller. I, you know, it should be fine because I'm going to have them rocketing through lava anyway. <laughs> Alright, so what I got to do is I have to clear out this section. I got to take down this nice looking little temple area thing. This whole thing's everything's got to go. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a um, department clothing, uh, department uh, store closing sale here. Everything must go. Uh, and I got to take all this stuff out so I can get a clean view at what these two places are. The place I'm going to be standing is probably right in the middle. And then I'm going to just let the pigs fall like that down into lava and go they'll, hopefully they'll be moving fast enough that they don't swim in lava and they just go shooting all the way down and splat into hoppers hoppers and that collects all their goods so that that's the plan but first i gotta clear this out all right now i know this does not look pretty like <laughs> pretty ugly actually if anything but it technically should work now they they're not spawning right now because i took all the grass away so there's nothing that's going to be able to spawn in here at this very moment but I can actually light this up because this isn't like a normal mo Oh, I fell down here. Dang it. This isn't like a normal mob spawner where it has to be in darkness because these are pigs. Pigs actually can use the light. Get out of the ceiling, please. Thank you. Uh, yeah, pigs can actually use the light to spawn. It's fine. Uh, so what I'm going to do, though, is uh, yeah, I'm going to hop over here. Land it. Perfect. Nailed it. Uh, I'm going to try to place trap doors along this edge right here and right here. And what that's going to do is it's going to cause the pigs to be able to see me and they're going to be like sweet and come towards me and they're going to think that there's a block here when there isn't. And so if I do it correctly, what it should do is make some uh, hilarity happen. It will cause the pigs to actually fall off the edge. Let's go ahead and make a bunch of trap doors and we'll just chuck those for right now. Uh, I didn't need, I did not need that many trap doors. <laughs> um, I right, let's do that and then open those up and that should allow the pigs just to walk right off the edge. Now, the way we are going to test this, I might actually build the whole thing, and then if it doesn't work, I'll just feel like a big old idiot. But um, the way we're going to test this is basically, by, or the way we're going to get them to come this way is I'm going to just hold a carrot. And I, I don't know if they're far enough away or not. If Okay, so here, here's what we're going to do. Like, if they're too far away, what I'll do is I'll only put grass over here and build a wall back here so they can only spawn right on this side. But if... They can see me because it's kind of disoriented, disorientating with uh, with my boots on. But because that's how far away they actually are, so I'm not sure if they'll see me with the carrot or not. But when I put the boots on, then I get that effect of like running or something. Well, actually, it's not doing it now, or is it? I don't know. I'm so used to it that I don't actually know. It doesn't seem to be doing it anymore. It's crazy. Okay, whatever. That's fine. I'm not gonna complain. All right, so I need to go get a carrot. So I need to get out of here, and I also wouldn't mind making an elevator block to come down like right here. So I gotta figure out where this is on the surface. Back at base now, just grabbing some supplies. I remember that there's hopper ducks in this uh, game now. So uh, hopper ducks, how do you make those things again? Because those will come in real handy. Okay, it's just a piece of wood, it's wood planks and some iron. Nice, I'm gonna make a few of those things for sure because um, that way I don't have to put a bunch of hoppers down. I just need to coat like the, the surface of the killing chamber with them. And then underneath them, I can just connect them all with hopper ducks. So uh, let's see, what did I need? I need uh, some of these guys, put those there. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, boom, just like that. Now, if I need to make more, I'll make more. I got a whole stack of iron blocks with me right there and I got some wood so I can I can do this. But I think I'm gonna need more than six hoppers. I have to get in there and actually see. I, I might be able to crunch this in a little bit closer so I don't have to use as many hoppers. So I gotta get out there and check it out. But I do need, uh, I need uh, some lava buckets. <laughs> Because uh, I am going to kill these guys with lava, so I'm going to grab a couple of them here. And uh, now I have to go find some lava. Now lava, where is lava? I think I had some down. Actually, that's just all the way down to the basement here. Okay, so this is not underneath rocket uh, ink. Don't worry about it. You're not seeing any of this. 
Oh, actually, Maddie's been down here doing some incredible work clearing this out. I wonder if there's lava. I'm looking at the mini map. There is actually lava this way. Aha! There's some lava right there. Grab a couple of lava buckets. In fact, you know what? Let's make another one. I'll make. Uh, I'll grab four lava buckets. All right. Hopefully, that's enough now to get out of here easier than uh, the way I came in. Just warp on out of there. Okay, so now I gotta get back to Silence of the Hams over there and start placing in these hoppers with these lava buckets and a couple of, uh, let me see if I grab, if I have any extra signs also so I don't have to make them. Uh, but signs will hold up the lava, the pigs will come flying down, hopefully they'll have enough momentum to break through the lava layer, light themselves on fire, splatter into the hoppers and die. That's, <laughs> that's the plan anyway. Uh, if it doesn't work, then hopefully they, I have one sign, I came up here for one sign. Then if that's if that doesn't work, then at least the, hopefully they'll at least burn up and die that way. So all right, I gotta get back up to where I have signs of the hams, which is uh, about a kilometer and a half that way, uh, and then get to building this. Oh, the 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 the, the hold on, I'm, I'm the elevator block. I forgot about the elevator blocks. I need two of them. I'm gonna grab eight just in case, because <laughs> I'm also gonna need to be able to get down to where all the items are gonna be collected as well. So if they don't quite reach, I'm going to have to put one in the middle. So we're talking like maybe four I'll need. I'm not too sure. So I just grabbed eight. I grabbed all eight. So all right, let's get back up here to Silence of the Hams and uh, hook this thing up and let's see if it starts working. All right, somewhere here. Yep, here it is. Okay, here's where one elevator block needs to go. And uh, you know what? We'll uh, we'll jazz up the landscape just a bit. I think I actually didn't really build, bring many building blocks, which is kind of a stupid move. You know what? We'll worry about that later. Let's go ahead and just recess this into the ground once. And then uh, we'll put a torch next to it so I know where it is. All right, down here at the bottom of this thing, let's go ahead and place the other elevator block, and let's see if those work. Oh, yeah, they do. Oh, I have that bug where I'm constantly going up. That's, that sucks. Quick and easy relog later. Bug fixed. All right, there we go. Awesome. So now to get down to where the collection chamber is, I'm going to have to put another elevator block below that. I need a, I need a, I need a dump pile, though, because this is getting a little out of hand. I got too much crap in my inventory. All right, and then for this part, now I don't think I can move them in any farther because I'm pretty sure that the um, the pigs would try to jump across then. So I need them to stay that, that that distance part. Now I have to lower this land down quite a bit so that I can actually get the pigs to drop in here. And I don't actually need to lower it uh, beyond the edges where they're actually jumping off. So, because I can just fill those in. So I just gotta dig all of this down as far as I can go because I think I'm gonna hit bedrock. Oh, what am I doing? Hold on. Oh, yeah. That's better. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right. I got this thing dug down to here. Now, here's bedrock. I'm actually down here. Pretty far down, actually. I left a barrier in between because I don't really care about in the middle there. But what I need to do now is I need to... Uh, I need to find a place where all this is end up, gonna end up going for right now. Uh, let's go ahead and I'm probably gonna do like a little collection room like right here. Uh, <laughs> that way I can come down here and collect all the goods after the all the little piggies come down here and die. So what I gotta do is let's see, put maybe like right here. That can be the collection area for this thing. And then I'll worry about getting an elevator block down there in just a little bit. But for right now, uh, this can probably, well, I'll leave that open so I have a way to get out of here. But I need to line, how many How many hoppers do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, 14, I need 28 hoppers. All right, now if I think about this for just one second, um, I actually don't need that many hopper ducks, come to think of it. But let's try to organize a little bit of my inventory here. I don't need that many hopper ducks because um, I only need enough to connect like two hoppers to the chest. <laughs> Because the hoppers naturally work by flowing into one another. So if I put like, if I put like this one facing down and this one facing down, then I can actually connect all the hoppers to that one and feed it into there. Now, I don't think this is going to overburden the system too much. But basically, if I were to throw like a hopper into this right here, it should end up in this hopper right here. Bam, just like that. Now, if I do the same thing on this side, like so, then anything that lands in here will all go to the top, uh, to the front up here. Let's, let's check this one over there. And uh, and that should end up right over here as well. Bam, just like that. Perfect. Um, so that means that these, this hopper and this hopper are the only two that I have to actually connect up to the chest itself. So if I get underneath here, 
and go to this one here and this one here and grab the hopper ducks. I think what I can do is just connect these right to the bottom of this. Uh, that, that didn't do the right thing. Connect these together. Oh, hold on, wait, 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 hold on. Maybe I'll just have to feed them each individually into the into the chest. I think that's probably what I'll have to do. All right, I've only ever used these things once, but uh, <laughs> I think it's I have to actually feed them in like uh, from the chest to the hopper rather than from the hopper to the chest. So I think I'm gonna try doing that right from here, running them like this. I need to get over here just a little bit. I'm 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 experimenting here, and I'm doing it in front of bedrock, which is probably pretty dangerous. Hey, like that, perfect. All right, so now, if I did this correctly, um, let's go ahead and just kind of dig a little bit over here so I can get up here. Um, I think one of them fell in there. All right, so let's go ahead and drop one piece of uh, permafrost over there and one piece of permafrost over here. That should both go into the chest. There they are, bam, good, good. All right, so this seems to be working now. Now that is just, however, actually I gotta, I gotta, I gotta fix this so that they don't grab that because I think can, can they slow down on this? Oh no, they don't. Maybe I don't actually need to get rid of this, but I'm going to going to anyway. Uh, oh, that's a drill burr up there. <laughs> I was like, what is that looking down on me? Um, now that takes care of the pigs falling down here, but they won't die if they fall down here. That's not going to actually kill them off. Uh, let's go ahead and grab all the stuff that just fell out of there and just chuck it out of there. It just fell back in. Whatever, I'll get those later. Um, that's not going to kill the pigs when they drop down here. They're still the killing mechanism that I have to have to make. And for that, I think I'm going to... Actually, there's a spot right there I totally need to plug up still. Got it. All right, so for that, I think we're going to... Because uh, I, I don't want them to like jump or bounce when they hit the ground and get back into the lava. That would be bad. So I I think I can put them right here, actually. I think I can put the signs right here. What do you think? Too much? I don't think it's too much. Okay, so there's gonna be this corner that's not full if I do that, which I don't know if the pigs will actually go there. If I'm standing in the middle with a carrot, I think they're gonna fall right in the center. So I think I'm just gonna go with this, and we're going to knock out this one right here, and place that one there. And that should cover up everything except for that torch. Yeah, so the corners there are still going to be open, and that's fine. Like I said, I, I don't, I don't see the pigs falling in there, so that should allow them to fall down and just catch fire and smash into the ground here. Hopefully, hope that's the plan. Like I said, hopefully this is all dependent on whether or not the plan works or not. And right now, yeah, it's kind of like a 50/50. Little hot escape there, but uh, I should be fine. Maybe if I, if I don't burn to death. Whew! All right, so the hard part's over now. Um, that should actually kill them now, but I do need to, one, create safety railing so I don't fall into this place, and two, I need to, uh, do I not have anything to actually make safety railings up here? Let me, let me do this. I think this will work. Um, I was looking for cobblestone, but I don't actually have any. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, <laughs> I made a, a couple too many hopper ducks, though, it would seem. All right, and then, so safety railings, and I wonder if the pigs can actually see me over these things. Uh, that's not in the right spot. I wonder if the pigs can actually see me over these things, or if they, they won't see me at all. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't... Mm, man, I don't really want to fall down there. Let me just put these in here completely and see if the pigs can actually see me from there. But one thing I do have to do is I need to get over there and actually put the grass in so the pigs can start spawning, and we can actually test this thing. Hmm, it would seem that these walls are kind of getting in the way. I wonder if I can do something to narrow that down just a little bit. The ones in back, though, are definitely not seeing me. They have to wander around a little bit. And yeah, see, like I said, they're getting here, but they're stopping, and then they're trying to hop up. Now, they are going down and presumably burning. Oh, yeah, look at them go. So I guess if you move back and forth, maybe. So it's not completely AFK, but basically I'd have to push this block back a little bit. But they can see me from quite a distance, but then they get here and stop. I wonder if more of them spawn in, if they'll push the other ones off. Hmm. So yeah, that's not what I wanted to have happen right there. <laughs> Actually, what I could do is right where they're standing right now, I could put those pressure, those movement plates and just rocket them off the edge. Excuse me, pig. You're kind of in the way. <laughs> 
Perfect, just like that. All right, now let's get back up here and or in the center and see if this actually did anything at all. Let's go ahead and put these in my uh, offhand. Hi, guys. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. All right, I think this thing is up and running. I know it's not pretty. It's not pretty, but it's effective. Look at this. Thing. Let's see if we can get another uh, batch to spawn in here. Oh, there we go. And whoop. Yeah. All right, so I could just sit AFK here and we could collect some cooked pork chops and a bunch of tallow. I think I'm gonna do that. In fact, I think I'm gonna call this episode right here. It's been a weird one, hasn't it? We caught a couple legendaries right off the bat. We completed the bird trio. How about that? That was pretty cool. Uh, so, and then we made, <laughs> we made Silence of the Hams where, <laughs> where pigs go to get boom, turned into tallow <laughs> and cooked pork chops. All right, so yeah, like I said, oh, some of them right there don't notice me right away, but I mean, they will as they wander around. So I think this was a success. I think this was a raging success, actually. Way better than I thought it was going to be. So, all right, I'm going to wrap this episode up here. So if you did enjoy, please get on and smash that like button. And thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. I will be back next week with more Pixelmon Revolution. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and bye bye